New at 9, a safety seminar by University of Chicago leaders and the Chicago Police Department in an effort to address concerns from students who say they don't feel safe going to school. This follows the shooting death of Dennis Zhang last week, a recent graduate of that university. WGN's Brona Tumulty joining us now from the newsroom with more on that. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, lots of things discussed tonight during that hour-long webinar, including what's happening right now and what's going to happen in the coming weeks to help address those safety concerns both on and off campus that safety is my top priority. We are diligently working to make it safer on and around our campus. Paul Alvisado is president of the University of Chicago, sitting down tonight with the head of U of C's Police Department, Eric Heath, and Chicago Police Superintendent, David Brown, to talk about safety on and around the campus. We are urgently looking for places to put more cameras both outside the campus of the University of Chicago and on the campus. It looks like extra cameras and license plate readers will be coming to the area, but there will also be an extra focus on faster information sharing between the two police departments. We have largely been you know, sharing information after the fact. It needs to be real time. An increased emphasis will also be placed on monitoring the area's traffic. In and around the University of Chicago, you're likely to get stopped along with more blue light missions with patrol cars keeping their lights on. People see those blue lights from a long distance away. It deters criminal from, criminals from coming into the area. Also tonight, a promise from Brown to get extra boots on the ground. More officers coming uh, to the second district is the district that covers okay. the campus. So we added six recently. We're going to add an additional 10 coming up to the holidays and then we'll add positions. permanent positions, then we'll add an additional 10 first of the year. So the webinar taken place after a rally yesterday by international students who say they don't feel safe here. Do you Chicago need action? Their security concerns follow the shooting death last Tuesday of 24-year-old Shaoshang Dennis Zhang, who was gunned down during a robbery in Hyde Park. He'd wrapped up a master's degree in statistics at the university in June. Those who knew him describing him as a passionate student and generous friend who loved traveling, playing the piano and table tennis. Police say 18-year-old Alton Spann pulled the trigger and fled the scene, later selling off some of Zhang's stolen belongings. They pawned his items in his backpack for a hundred dollars hundred dollars i'd rather have mr zing and all of these students here surveillance video license plate readers and help from witnesses all helping to track down the suspect who is now facing charges of first degree murder armed robbery and unlawful use of a weapon a memorial service for Dennis Song will be held tomorrow at 3 o'clock at the Rockefeller Memorial Chapel at the University of Chicago. He is the third student or recent graduate to have lost their life this year. The university also stressing that tonight is just the beginning when it comes to these types of conversations about safety. Live in the newsroom, Rona Tumulty, WGN News.